of their campaign resources and super PAC resources because Casey can't fly commercial, because she has to be on private jets. They burn through tens of millions of dollars, it looks like, on private jet travel. Man, I feel like Republicans, for some reason, really can't stand Ron DeSantis' wife, Casey DeSantis, and it makes me wanna like her. Now, in this regard, they're attacking her affinity for jet setting rather than traveling commercial. And when I think about traveling commercial, I think about how I have to travel commercial. I think about economy <laughs> and how miserable it is. But keep in mind, we're talking about people who can obviously afford first class instead of using a jet, which costs a lot more money. And so in the beginning of Ron DeSantis's presidential campaign, he burned through a lot of cash just on travel, including those uh, private jets. Now the DeSantis's, according to a publication known as Florida Politics, developed a taste for the imperial trappings of office. And even as the campaign peasants were scrounging for kernels of grain, they continued to insist on private jets and white glove treatment. Perhaps the single most shocking statistic of the campaign was that it spent more on private jets than TV advertising. No, come on, that is unbelievable. That's pretty bad. That's awful. That's just saying like, hey, we just wanna do this for our vanity and we don't care about winning or anything. And it's burning the donors money. Now look, their donors are giant uh, Wall Street guys, so I don't shed a tear for them. But in a minute, I'm gonna tell you uh, my stories of travel and they're very, very different than this. Look, I think that Ron DeSantis absolutely wanted to win. Mm -hmm. It's just that they weren't responsible with how they spent that campaign cash and they burned through it very quickly at the very beginning. Um, now, this observation was uh, emphasized by the Lincoln Project's co-founder Rick Wilson, uh, who claimed that Casey DeSantis refuses to fly commercial. Let's watch. He was sold a bill of goods by his consultant Jeff Rowe, who told him, give me this giant pile of $80 million you have. We will run a campaign in Iowa that will stun the world, that will shock everyone. They went through a total of about 130 to $140 million as far as we can estimate right now to end up spending about $30,000 per voter they got in Iowa. They are out of money, they're out of time. They spent an incredible amount of their, of their campaign resources and super PAC resources because Casey can't fly commercial because she has to be on private jets. They burn through tens of millions of dollars, it looks like, on private jet travel. This is a campaign that was that was way over its skis from the very start. And a lot of the people that noted the arrogance of them staffing up this political death star from the very beginning um, were called, you know, they were called haters and everything else. But the fact of the matter is they they thought they had it in the bag. And they, they never ran a campaign against Trump. And of course, Trump came along like the apex predator of the MAGA movement that he is and ate them. He did eat them. He did it pretty easily too. Um, now, the love for traveling on private jets uh, started well before the 2024 election started heating up. In fact, even as far back as 2019, Politico reported that Casey DeSantis took a political donor's jet to attend both a Republican Party fundraiser and state policy event. I mean, this was bad. I mean, it's, it's bad. Like, you gotta get it under control. Mm -hmm. But like, I, I don't, I've never been on a private jet. I don't have any interest on, on in flying on a private jet. But I'm trying to like also understand what some of the other reasons, no, I, I can't. I'm trying to be fair to her when I don't really need to be. Like, come on, this was irresponsible to say the least. Just fly first class, it's not the end of the world. You're not gonna melt, <laughs> like what's yeah. going on?